Oh, hi there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today we are going to talk about the elusive curly girl secret language. So if you're like me seven months ago when I was just discovering my curly hair and the curly girl method and natural curls and what to do with them, um, I of course found my way to social media and turns out there are some really great, really helpful groups on Facebook that have a ton of people in them that are really willing to help. And like any community, they have their own language. There are lots of abbreviations and terms that you might see in articles or come up in stories or in the groups or in videos that just might not make a lot of sense if you don't know what they mean. All right, the first term that I had no clue about that actually comes up a lot in the groups is a pre-poo, um, which is really funny to say out loud, pre-poo. Um, but what it is is like a treatment, it could be a mask or an oil treatment that you do prior to a shampoo. And then there is a low poo. A low poo is a shampoo that has really low suds and is used a little bit more frequently than something like a deep cleanser or a co-wash. So what is a co-wash? A co-wash is using conditioner to wash your hair. This is the most frequent and typical uh, way to wash hair or wash hair in the curly girl method. What it is is using conditioner to just kind of scrub your scalp and get all the dirt and gunk off of it. That's it. The next term is praying hands. This I had no idea what it would ever have to do with hair, but it actually makes a lot of sense. It's when you're styling your hair and it's wet or um, next day you use your hand like this and you know have your product here so you got your gel or your mousse or your cream and you rub it in your hands and you apply it like this, like you're praying with your hands praying hands. You may also see a lot of abbreviations that don't make a lot of sense. The first one is S-O-T-C. That stands for scrunch out the crunch. One of the steps in the curly girl method is creating a cast on your hair. Typically that's done with a gel or sometimes a mousse. Um, and then once your hair is dry, your hair is kind of, you know, crunchy from gel. So what do you do? You take your hair. I like to use a microfiber towel or my t-shirt and scrunch your hair until it's not crunchy anymore. You scrunched out the crunch. All right, these next two terms go together. It is refresh and day one, day two, day three, day however many. Um, a refresh is what you do basically on a non-wash day. So I washed my hair yesterday and that means today I refresh. Basically what it means is getting your hair wet and um, basically reforming your curls. You can apply product at this point, um, diffuse it again if you want, it's up to you. Um, it's just how you kind of bring life back to your curls. And then there's day two, day three, day four, whatever. That's how many days after your wash day. So you washed your hair yesterday, today would be day one, tomorrow's day two, um, the next day would be day three. Some people get to day four, some people even get to day seven. All right, this next term sounds really funny. It's plopping. I don't exactly know the origin of the term plop or to plop your hair, but what it is is when you get out of the shower or after you've washed your hair, flipping your head upside down and putting it in either like a microfiber towel or a t-shirt, I use a t-shirt, um, and tying it up on your hair and just having your hair sit on the top of your head after it's been, um, you know, washed and you've had your product, products applied to it. Really, it's just not using a terry cloth towel and putting your hair up in one of those flippy turban things. That's what it is. And the last term of the day is pineapple. This is my absolute favorite one because it is the cutest phrase in the curly girl world. What it is, is when you go to sleep at night, you don't want to sleep on your curls because it's going to smush them and get them all misshapen. So you take all of your hair and put it up on the top of your head in a scrunchie, preferably a silk or a satin one, and it forms a pineapple with your curls. It's so cute. All right, that is it for curly girl vocabulary lessons for today. Um, if you guys know any other curly girl terms that you wanna share, definitely pop them in the comments below. I'm sure there is a ton that I don't even know about yet. I will also share in the comments some of my favorite groups on Facebook and a link to a Reddit site that has a ton of information if you're just getting started or wanna to talk to other people who are kinda of going the same, going through the same thing as you. So that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I will love you forever. Have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you the next time. Bye, 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 bye.